Hi guys, I'm Alex. Welcome to my shave. Today is, uh, what is today? Today is November the 30th, the last day of the month, by golly. I want to get into something. You guys might have seen the uh, thumbnail I put up. I went to a little store over here. It's called Home Goods. And I was just browsing around and saying, and I found something. I found something again. I found this little thing here. It's a little silicone food storage container, and it's about six inches by three inches tall. But here's the best part. Let me see. Three bucks. Three dollars. I can't buy that at the thrift store. Much cheaper than that. Three dollars, and it's brand new. Something different for me. Anyway, that is from Home Goods. Show you the front of it because I took the little thing out. See, that's from Whole Goods. I got it for three dollars. They're closing them out. It says they're normally ten dollars, but it's a little food container. Let me show you what I did. I put everything I need in today's shave into this one container. It also comes with a lid. You put that on there, locks it up tight. Throw it in your suitcase, backpack, whatever you got. I've got everything I need for today's shave. The only thing I changed around a little bit, what I did was I took the Nivea that I'm going to be using for a pre-shave and for the post-shave. That's what I'm, it's, it's in one little tube. Let me show you what I did there. You guys probably got these empty little things you got from hotel rooms or something. But the problem with these guys, to put this divvy in there, the opening was too small. So what I did was I drilled it open. I got a 3-H drill, and I drilled a hole in it, and it came out perfect. And now it's got a bigger opening. What I did was I heated up the Nivea in the bottle in some hot water. I put it in a little cup here, and I put some hot water in there for about two, three minutes. Then it got real liquidy. Then I could just pour it inside this little guy. Worked out great. Now, let me show you what I got in here. I have the Nivea, which will be our pre-shave. I'm going to put that right here in line. So as I use it, I'd be using the uh, British sterling. Because it comes in a smaller bottle. You guys can just find a small bottle, put your stuff in there, work on whatever you guys use, depending on your brush. Now, here's here we go. I've got this. This is going to be our, our, our aftershave. I'm using the uh, Merker 34C because it's got a short little handle on it. And I've got a, a feather blade in there already. Feather blades in there. Okay. Well, that's good. I even have my alum in there. I have my Omega brush. It's a smaller brush. It's the uh, model 11126, I believe. And it's a boar's hairbrush. It's got a real neat little handle on it, but it's a great little brush. That'll be in the description too. And what I did to save a little room, remember I told you guys that I bought this Dove hand cream at the dollar store for a dollar. Well, I used it all up. So what I did was I took this, this Gotham's five points that I got from um, Pastors in New York for us to do a review on, if you remember. And I took some out because it was kind of hard. So I used my little scooper. You can use whatever you want. Oops. I used my little scooper, and I scooped out some of it. I've got more in there than you'll ever use on a little trip. If you go for two, three days or something, you've got more than enough for two, three days. Anyway, that's what I scooped out. Let me show you what it looks like. It comes out like a little melon ball or a half a melon ball. That's what it looks like. So you could take this out and then just break it or either use the whole thing, whatever you want depending on what you want, and put it in your bowl and mix it. Today, we're doing a shave like I'm traveling somewhere. 
have traveled for a while, but you never know. A wife might kick me out. Okay, here we go. So, and then what I do is I just put out there, got them five points, so I know what's in there. Of course I know what's in there. What else? It's the only one I got. Okay. Let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the camera, set up the bowl for our uh, making our lather, and then I'll get back to you again. Be right back, guys. Okay, I guess we're on. Here we go. All right. I'm going to take the brush now out of the hot water, and we're going to drip some water in there. And you can see that soap is pretty hard. And we'll see if we'll need some more water. I'll just put some more in there. But look how nice and soft this thing is, but it's sturdy and too in its own way. And you know, you could uh, throw it in your suitcase and have everything you need ready to go. So I'm going to try to get this soap all going real quick here. It's lathering up nice. This uh, this Gotham Five Points from uh, Pastors. I'm not sure if they still carry it because they have another Gotham now, uh, and it's called uh, Brari Brari Boys, something like that. So that might have discontinued this one and got that one. But I'm sure it'd be pretty close to the same. You can see it's coming out nicely. Still got soap in there. Got to put a little more water in there. Okay. Just a little more water. Here we go. Looks like it's coming out very nice. The soap is a little dry, so you got to keep feeding it some water. I can still see the soap on the bottom there. It hasn't dissolved yet. But this brush is doing a great job. This little bolt holding up nice too. I'm very surprised. First time I'm using it with you guys. See how it works. Hope it doesn't melt. <laughs> That'd be good. Well, tomorrow is the first, by golly. The bills are back. Here we go. One more time. You know, they made that song about Christmas. It's starting to starting to sound a lot like Christmas. I'm seeing it. It's starting to cost a lot like Christmas. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Is the cost. Okay, there's still a little soap left in there. Let's give it a little more water. But the lather is coming out beautiful. I can still see some more soap in the bottom. We want to give it a little more, get a little more aggressive here. We've been doing this for two minutes or three minutes. I can't see the counter on the phone. I think it's three minutes. Look at that. What you think about that, boys? Hey, Uncle L, look at this. Look what I did. I'm getting there, buddy. Look at that Gary up there in Canada and all our other little friends all over in Mr. Mr. Italy. How you doing there, Mr. Italian man? Okay, that's it. I think we got a pretty good job here. Okay, let me switch back over to the upside. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and here we go. Uh, let me get my little thing here. This is my little face I put on my camera so I, <laughs> so I can see where that camera is, and that way I can look at you instead of looking over here. That's, what, that's you guys. Hi, my friend. Looks a little bit like Steven. Hey, Steven. Okay, uh, <laughs> shout out. Anyways, let's take a look. We finally got this done. Take a look at that, boys. The little bowl worked out nice. The lather's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to get 
our stuff together. I'm out of camera, I know. Hang on. I got to get this stuff. Kind of forgot to put it right where it's supposed to be. Okay. Pick that up. I'm busy, little guy. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to wet my face, and we're going to use the Nivea for a pre-shave. Put that over here, out of the way. Now we're going to use our Nivea. I used Nivea before for pre-shave. You should see how it worked. It worked out pretty good. All right, that came out pretty good. Okay. Feel like a nice, refreshing lotion. I'm sure it'll do the job. Just a little lubrication for the skin. There we go. I can feel it in the beard all over. Let me rinse off my hands. Okay. Wipe them down a little bit. Put a little bit of alum on my fingers. Okay, we got that. Okay, boys. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's put some lather on our face. This boar's hair brush is really, really not soft, but it's got a nice backbone to it, too. Look how nice it paints. This is called painting. I know all you guys out there know this, but there's some guys starting out don't know. This is called painting, and this is called scrubbing. <laughs> Get that under here. Ah, oh, getting cold up here in the Bay Area. Yep, and we had rain. A little sprinkle, not bad. We'll have some again tomorrow or tonight, but it's supposed to clear up. Okay, looks good to me. Put my brush in there. This stuff came out pretty nice. The bowl's a nice size, too. Okay. The uh, feather blade I have in here, I've used it twice before. So I'm just kind of using up. Hope you probably heard the microphone sound again. You guys probably hear all the noise on the microphone. But anyways, I used the blade twice before. It should be more than sharp enough. This is the Merker 34C. One of my favorites. I've got a lot of favorites. See, I keep doing this. I've got to stop doing that, Alex. You're making a mess, my friend. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm ready to cut hair. How about you? Can you guys see good? We're having a nice, relaxing shave. You know, that's the thing about Ken Surfs. When he talks, the man just it makes you feel so relaxed. That's why I enjoy watching him shave so much. Okay, let's go to this side. I'm going to be doing it here. You guys watch over there.
Ah, ok. I did a crazy thing last night. I stayed on the computer till five o'clock in the morning. I was just having a ball, looking at stuff, doing things, listening about the politics. This is where I catch up on my politics. And my wife don't like me to look at politics because she doesn't like it. So I have to do it on the sneak. And she hates when I talk about it. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. A lot of crap. I've never was into politics till Trump got in. Now Trump got in. <laughs> I guess it's because there's something different. You know, it's not the run of the mill thing. This guy is so controversial. You want to know what the hell's going on? What's he going to do next? I don't think he knows. Okay, guys, this is number two. Pass on my face. Here we go. Oh, go on this way. Just sit back, relax, get a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and enjoy the shave. We're all along for the ride on this one. I also have a quote for you guys. I said it before, but I like it so much I'm going to say it again. It's one of my favorites. Mark Twain. Must have been a hell of a guy. It's funny how you make noise go. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, let's enjoy the shave. Bye, Alex. Okay, guys. That's it for dos. Now we're going for tres. See, I know Spanish. I know Spanish. I know everything. I know everything about birth and babies. You ever see that in the go with the wind? <laughs> oh, I know everything about birth and babies. She did no crap. One of my favorite movies, my wife's unbelievable favorites. She loves that movie. We've got, we've got Go on the Wind posters every, all over the house. We've got Go on the Wind doll in her green dress. She just loves that stuff. Okay, that is our third and final lathering. And look how much more I got left. Isn't that something? Past doors. Okay, I'm putting that away now. We're getting everything else ready here. And now we're going to... We are now going to do our third and final pass. Again, I thank you guys for coming in and sharing my shave with me. I really enjoy it. I hope you do too. Up we go. I don't even hear anything cutting. I think I did most of the damage already. Hmm. Yep. No blood so far. See, Gary, 
got to be careful. But when you use the 34C or your 34G, you know it's great. It's a good one. Okay, we're going upstairs. That's it. I keep getting out of camera. I'm sorry. I get carried away. Well, gentlemen, I think that's about it for the shaving of my face. I'll be right back. Well, hello, I'm back and I'm all wet. And I took the privilege of uh, doing my alum on my face. And I did that and then I rinsed it off in cold water. And that was good. I really like that. Anyway, I know this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry, but I wanted to show you guys that silicone shaving bowl or food storage bowl <laughs> that's now a shaving bowl. All right, let's get going. I, got also, I also got a quote for you. I can't forget the quote. Okay, there you go. Now, you see, the uh, Nivea pre-shave worked. We had a nice smooth shave. Now, we're doing, hang on, should I do the cologne first or this? I think I'll do the cologne last. No, I'll do the cologne now. Should I do the cologne now? I'm mixed up here. Okay, I forgot what my routine, what I said I was going to do, but I'm going to do this anyway. We're going to do the, the Nivea. You don't need much. And don't forget to drill out that hole with that drill that I can't find now. Three-eighths of an inch drill. Okay, now we're going to put our post shave on oh it does feel great feels wonderful and then next time i say i think i'll do me a hot towel before i won't let you guys see it i'll make the hot towel for myself and tell you about it because i don't like doing the hot towel and you guys see it all that and it looks kind of stupid with me holding the towel there not that anybody does it stupid i'm just saying me i don't know how to do it that well but when by myself I do it the way I like. Okay. Got that. Sorry about the clap. Probably too loud. Okay. British Sterling. This is really old. Uh, I found this at the thrift store, a thrift store. I don't know, quite a while back. And uh, I've only used it like a couple times. And this is the British Sterling aftershave. And the only reason I used it tonight because it fit in that container very well. Oh, it's got a little bird. This is old hat. A lot of alcohol. I think that's what it is. I think they've, they've gotten away from all the alcohol because people probably complain, it's burning the hell out of me. But they're not tough like us. Okay. Now, let's go over what we did here tonight. Our bowl. I want to show you how to stack this. Where's the thing? Here it is. Hang on. I got to get this. I'll be right back. Here I am. Put your brush in. Put your soap in. Put your blade in. And every time you do it, it's going to be different. <laughs> There's your Nivea in there, which is your pre-shave and your after-shave. And then we're going to put... Uh, now, if you just want to just uh, do the Nivea, you don't have to do the after-shave. You know what I'm saying? But it all depends 
But it's all in there. Look at that. And then you take the little top and you put it on there. Look at that. And you throw that in the suitcase and you hope nobody steals your suitcase because then you lose this. But there you go. All in one package. Go check it out. See if you can find one of those storage things. It's neat because it, you can drop it. not going to hurt them. Okay, we're good there. We've done that. We did everything. Let me, let me beg you people a little bit. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you do when you ask for subscribers. Please, please push the button. Anyway, ring the bell, push the button so I can notify you guys. And you guys will see everything I do. Not everything. Just what I do here. And then... Uh, <laughs> and then please subscribe tell your friends about us I really would appreciate it and we're having fun like I said and I hope you guys got a kick out of this little uh, I call it a traveling kit there you go all in one little package anyway there's that and uh, let me read you my quote from Mark Twain Stephen you know this one because I think you gave it to me <laughs> <laughs> that's that's right. You gave it to me about 11 o'clock at night, and I couldn't stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is Mark Twain talking in general, not personal to anybody, but it's good advice. It's better. Hang on. Let me make sure I can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to put these on. Okay. It's better to keep your mouth closed and let people think that you're a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. <laughs> you don't want to remove that doubt. You want to just keep your mouth shut. I don't. <laughs> I ain't open. <laughs> you guys take care. God bless you guys. Appreciate you guys coming in. Sorry it took so long for the shave. But, you know, it's something new. I want to do it for you guys. Okay. You guys take care. God bless. God bless everyone over there in the old country, too. Mr. Italy, it's for you, too. God bless you. And uh, you guys take care. God bless America. Alex, I'm out. <laughs>